Okay, welcome to video three of the tutorial. I just finished up the animation. Let's go ahead and play that. That looks good. Oh, this little thing here. Let's got an extra brow here. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and the behaviors. Actually, before the behavior, uh, let's go ahead and create the. This recording is in the way. Let's go ahead and create our other characters. Clone. That way they're doing the same thing. So I clicked on it and then click clone. Done cloning. Now I'm going to go ahead and create my goalie. So go ahead and we're going to create a similar. Don't need to create animation. So I'm going to go ahead and rename that goalie. On physics, want it movable, not affected by gravity. The bounce can stay the same. Our goalie is just going to go up and down. So go ahead and create your character by clicking browse, select character, and go ahead and recolor so that matches. His teammates. Let's see. All right. Let's see. All right, that looks good. All right, let's see here. I think we can go ahead and do the behaviors on the goalie. So first, I'm going to go ahead and click on Always. Next, I need a Collision Trigger. Need a couple numbers and a Velocity. So I'm going to go to Logic and Math, get two number blocks, and a Toggle Switch. and a velocity oops wrong one properties velocity all right now i'm going to go ahead and connect hit to next always out in next i'm going to go ahead and Switch that to 12. I'm going to switch that to minus 12. And that top one to get out to get in the middle. And then out two to get in the middle. And then both of them on the y axis. All right, let's see if I did that right. All right, let's see here. Let's see if I did this right. Hit play. And now we have our goalie bouncing up and down. So it looks like we did it right. Hit escape. 
All right, let's go back to our goalie. Back into the behavior section. Go ahead and scroll that up. All right, so I think we're going to save the reset mailbox uh, for later. So actually, so let's go ahead and create our soccer ball. Okay, so I'm going to create the soccer ball. There's multiple ways you can do this. I actually spent a long time trying to make my soccer ball look <laughs> realistic by playing with the shading and coloring. Uh, if you have the time, you can go ahead and do that, or you can upload uh, some sort of image. Uh, so we're going to see where this process takes us. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a soccer ball. And for the physics, I'm going to make that movable, not affected by uh, gravity. We're going to enable rotation, click off the affected by gravity. The density is fine where it is. The bounce, let's move that all the way up to 100. And the friction, move that all the way up to 100. The direction's fine, circle, that's good. Going back to properties, and then let's go to edit sprite. Okay, so this is where you're gonna want to edit and Try to make it circular. You want to make these grids small. So move that down to 1.0. Uh, you want to delete to where you're making it kind of a circular. And I might press pause while I mess with this. But I'll give you the beginning parts, right? Then you have this to where you're kind of making it look circular. And and there are uh, uh, tutorials online. Uh, like I said, I, the, that ball that you see is really the first time I've I spent extra time doing it, and you can see it. It didn't look like perfect, and I thought it, that that looks good enough. And it spins, and you can see the rotation uh, to kind of give you a better idea where to move your player to hit it. And that's really uh, what I, I cared about the most. Um, so I, I was I was happy with the end product. Um, for being the first time trying to do it. So, I might have chopped off a little too much on that one. I think I did. So again, you're wanting to just kind of cut it down and make it look more circular. Uh, that does definitely not look good. But you want to start going ahead and add your blacks and then your grays and then your whites around it kind of like what a uh, a soccer ball looks like right so let's see here I might just no nope. on the eraser tool okay so doesn't have to be perfect just gonna go ahead and add some black here right some black there maybe a couple of blacks up at the top blacks off to the side again I'm not making it perfect just quick for this and you can always patch it up so maybe a little bit here right there right to get the uh, black part of the ball all right now go ahead and switch over to white and big patch for white. Connecting these pieces to white, right? Some more white up here. More white up here. We're going to add in some shades of gray in between, so it kind of just helps offset some of this white. Let's see here. There's some white right here. All right, uh, let's go ahead and keep color. And let's see here. Need some more white. 
some more white and some more white all right now i definitely need some grays here go ahead and get some grays that did a little bit gray so i'm gonna go here get a better gray just something different maybe that looks good is that too black too close all right that looks too black that looks better maybe all right there we go so i'm just going to keep filling those in and i'm going to go ahead and pause this because i don't want to make a 30 minute shading tutorial all right here's my janky soccer ball i uh, i've just for the tutorial i'm not going to perfect it but you, you get it uh, but i do want you to spend time uh, making your soccer ball look a little better so I'm going to go ahead and click on behaviors. All right, so there are a lot of behaviors for the soccer ball. So let's just start with uh, the collision trigger. Let's go ahead and just make a sound effect, okay? So go ahead and hit triggers, collision. And then components, sound. So let's go ahead and whenever that ball hits uh, the P2, so whenever it hits your uh, computer player, it'll make a sound. So let's go ahead and do computer. No, not the computer. Player. Whenever it hits the player, what sound do you want to make it? So I'm going to go ahead and click a sound. Click an effect. And then I'm going to hit pop. And you can choose whatever one you want. I'm going to go ahead and choose pop 7. And that'll be that for that. Whenever the ball hits uh, the wall, different walls, I'm going to go ahead and have it do a different sound effect. So I'll go ahead and hit collision trigger. And whenever sound effects, I need to go back to component sound. So whenever it hits the whenever I have it touching the top or bottom part of the wall, so I'm going to go ahead and do uh, any type, not the right. I'm going to do top and bottom. So I'm going to do top wall, and then we're going to go ahead and do uh, sound effect. Hit the play. Click on sound effect. I'm going to go ahead and choose. Again, you can choose any one you want. I'm just going to do a beep. Eight bit beep and beep six. I know that that worked well with my other game. Uh, also, don't forget to turn down the volume. Uh, that way, it's not so over overbearing. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn it down to like 18. Same thing with that pop. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Turn that down. That's not as loud, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it down maybe 80, 82, something like that. Okay, next I'm going to need a collision trigger. Go to collision. And we're going to go ahead and make this collision to be the goal. Right, we're going to make this a goal. So for those, let's go ahead and do the left side. So anytime this hits the left wall we need a couple numbers let's see what we've got here we need a number logic and math number and I need a label under GUI let's see I need a filter Under logic and math. And we're going to go ahead and pause this and start with a new video. So go ahead and go to video, the next video.